be our crotchless chaps. Go to thecud.tv slash support. Hello, 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 and welcome to this week's edition of Chewing the Cud. We're here in our little TV sets, ready to bring yet another hour of showbiz, internet funnies, and not forgetting our special feature of lockdown lessons. But now it's time to introduce the man who knows what you did this summer. It's Lee. Summer, autumn, winter, spring, I know everything. Um, Nothing can stop me. (laughs) So yeah, we've got some amazing showbiz news this week, including a story about a certain European song contest. And I'm here with some of the fun things I've found on the internet, including how an event getting cancelled raised more questions than answers. And you can keep in touch with us on all our usual social media. So at the Cud TV, our website is at thecud.tv. And if you want to find anything else, just search for Chewing the Cud. And if you've clicked like or commented on our Facebook, Twitter or Instagram, you might see your name going across the bottom of our face right now. Please don't look up my nose. Ooh, hair. Right, Mike. Are you ready? What you mean? It is time for you to get another thrashing that you won't enjoy this one. (laughs) There. Game of the week. Our producers picked the game this week. Did you know he started dating a Lake District butcher? He said he's already had several goes on the meat slicer and is developing a taste for Cumberland Ring. This week, we have to try and decipher these literal lyrics. So what we're going to see is some lyrics come up on screen and we have to try and work out the song from them. Okay. Is it shouting whoever thinks they get them first? So, yes, we have to to get our noise-making machines. So I've got... So do you have... (laughs) Yeah, you have your chicken. Chicken is here. Yes, and I have... And I have my clacker. Nice. Okay. Right. Ooh, classy. Okay. So, you have deceived mm-hmm. me. I cannot remember when it started. Consequently, I have come to the decision that this must now stop. View me at this time. Will I eventually absorb the knowledge? Catchy. Um, <laughs> I will have no idea of the means. <laughs> However, I abruptly abandoned composure. There is conflagration contained inside my spirit. A single viewing, and I am aware of the auditory resonance of a chime. A second inspection, and I develop amnesia. I haven't a clue. (laughs) This is weird. Those are not Um, the lyrics. They're they're reimagined lyrics. They're the literal translations, so they're not actually the lyrics. Um, Um, So you have literally deceived... No, sorry, you have deceived me. So you lied. You lied. Um, I cannot... I can't... uh, Yeah, I cannot remember when it started. A second inspection and I develop an amnesia. Some about forgetting things. Is it an ABBA song? Knowing knowing our producer, that it, they're, <laughs> the they're producer. all going to be ABBA songs, aren't they? Um, <laughs> Possibly. Oh! oh okay. It's Mamma oh. Mia by ABBA. <laughs> oh, sorry. My father. I anticipate that you will experience anguish because I have forever been identified as your young heiress. However, you should understand after so long that I am no longer an infant. You impart knowledge of morality. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Go I'm on. gonna. I think. I think it's "Papa Don't Preach" mm-hmm. by Madonna. I think. Ooh. Yes. It is "Papa Don't Preach" it by Madonna. Is. Well done, Lee. My frappe causes the entire contingent of youthful males <laughs> to attend the quadrangle. <laughs> I got it with frappe. Okay, I, got it with frappe. I will let you have it, although I think I know what it is. Yes, this is uh, by Milkshake Brings All the Boys to the Yard. And who is it by, Mike? Who is it by? By Khalees. You indeed have got it yes. right. Yes. I, th- I think I think, hey, I think I we should I think we should read <laughs> Okay, right. Um um so you can read this one out because you um you you read the last one. I read the last one out and you, okay. you got it quick. Uh, yes. Okay. So my birth took place in a stagecoach of a mobile entertainer. Back then my mother would tango and waltz in the hope of fiscal remuneration. 
father just pleased himself, spouting religious texts <laughs> and selling potions. I think... That's... I think, and I could mm-hmm. be wrong, is this Gypsies, mm-hmm. Tramps and Thieves by Cher? I think it think might so? be. think so? I have... <gasps> I, oh, mm-hmm. my God! I, I, genu- I got it right. Yes! <laughs> I think I might be winning again <laughs> this week. Really. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, so, so far, far yes. So far. You are one. isolated and feeling depressed. You always have the option of travelling into the city. On those occasions when you feel anxious, the cacophony and anxiety appears to assist. I am aware Main Street. Just pay attention to the tunes of the vehicles in the major conurbation. What? Dawdle on the pathway where the fluorescent tubes are attractive. Oh, in, oh, 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 oh. It's, it's downtown. Oh. By? By what's her name? P- Petula, Petula Clark. Petula, you got it right. Petula Clark. I hadn't a clue. I thought it... Yes. I, th- I thought it was Go West by Pet Shop Boys. Go West. I bet yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, so so we're on a draw now. Drawing, Lee. ooh, the tables ooh. have turned, Mike Benny and Row. Uh huh. They have. Let's get to the next one. You have to alternate between acceleration and deceleration, because if we understand that our affection can reach pinnacle, you will need to philander. But forthwith, you'll comprehend that the hour isn't appropriate to make a decision. You've got to activate, then extinguish it. You have to be certain that it will be the subject of universal gossip before you ascertain that the temporal fixed point is upon you for coming to a conclusion. Gee, I have no clue. Is it just bum me now? Something like it's making your mind up. My oh, box fist. Well, very similar to just bum me now. Um, shall we see? Shall we see? <laughs> shall we see? <laughs> oh, it is. It's right. Yeah. 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 Well done, you. Oh, you're right. Okay. Both of us, when visiting a specialist store, purchase a collection of latex blimps with our savings. This isn't made up. This is real. Uh, we discard these the following morning <laughs> as the sun starts to rise in the sky until, sequentially, there are none left. Back at the headquarters, a glitch in the computer. Oh, 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 no, oh, it's oh, not oh, fair. Oh, oh. Go for it. I have a clue. <laughs> it's... It's Nina, 99 Red Balloons. Oh, okay. Let's see. It's true. <laughs> but there's no mention of red. It doesn't say rouge latex blimps. So that if it said that, I I would have I would have got it. But, you know, whatever, oh. cheated. Let's have a look at the next one. I am a bona fide example of a contemporary serving officer. I have data relating to flora, fauna and metallurgy. I am equated with regal succession in the United Kingdom and often regale tales of historical battles. From the first Persian invasion to ABBA winning the Eurovision Song Contest, I... Is it Waterloo by ABBA? I don't think it is. I think I know what it is, but I'm going to keep reading it. Shall we we find out if it's the right one? Yeah. So, no, it... I've been told that's not rightly. Uh, I think it's I am the very model of a modern major general by from Gilbert and gonna, Sullivan's HMS Pinafore. I was going to say that, actually, but then... Oh. I don't like this game. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> Lee. Is it because I'm winning Cause finally? Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what's... Okay. This one goes a little something mm-hmm. like, Is he not wealthy? Could we be considered a couple? I'm here on the dirt floor. You are in the atmosphere. What is the location of the Jokers? I spat on this thing then. (laughs) Isn't it a state of exaggerated happiness? Do you not concur? A person who continues to rush about? The one who is petrified? What is the whereabouts of the buffoons? There are supposed to be the just- Oh! (laughs) I think it's sending the clowns by a person. By? <laughs> oh, you see, I actually know who this is by. Is it? It's Judy Collins. Oh, I wouldn't have never have got that in a million years. Who's Judy Collins? Is she? Is she? Is yeah, she sister of Judy of, Collins? Of, 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 of what? Her face out of um, Dynasty, Joan. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby Doodle thing, yes. Um, no, because everyone thinks it's Frank Sinatra that oh, sang it first, and it wasn't. His was I a I wouldn't cover. even have known that. I was going to say Barbara no. Streisand. Did she sing it? So we've got one more here. 
Regardless of my efforts, you continue to shun me and I am unable to remove the barrier. You've sent yourself to Coventry. Your departure is melancholic. If it's not something that cannot be trusted quickly. However, in the end, you'll be the person who feels dissolute. Do you hold that existence continues when deep affection has ended? I don't know. Um, you don't, don't know? know it. Uh, smack my bitch up by the prodigy. <laughs> This is believed by Cher. Oh, what? okay. <laughs> oh, you got it right. Where's the, where's, where's the Coventry thing? Where, where does that translate? Um, there is no talking to you. Oh, you sent yourself to Coventry. Yeah, it's um, too highbrow for me, this game. Just, 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 put, just put pictures of fruit up and ask me to guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chet scores. So... I've got five, and Lee's got three. Well, well, you've won. won it. I've finally won. It's taken won. four years of, of, of solid trying, but for once you, you have won. We've been in lockdown for over 100 days, and I finally won a challenge. Hmm. Yeah, it's, enjoy that brief moment of, of pleasure, for it will never happen again. Still to come, we will be brightening your lives with another one of our lockdown lessons. But you've got just enough time to wash your pussy or your dog before we get Lee with the showbiz news. Keep the show in glitter. Donate at thecud.tv slash support. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to speak to the man whose finger isn't just on the pulse. It's Lee with the Showbiz News. It depends where you're taking that pulse as to where my finger would be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, neck, yes. armpit, groin. Um, so, yes, Showbiz News. Are you a fan or were you a fan Mr. Benyon Rowe, of Home Alone. A little bit of a fan of Home Alone. Um, a I, little bit. I, I much preferred his late, Macaulay Culkin's later work. OK, which was what? Um, Party Monster. <laughs> oh, right, OK, right, OK. Well, um, the mum out of Home Alone, who is called Catherine O'Hara, who nowadays mm-hmm. you'll probably know from Schitt's Creek... Now, mm-hmm. that is how you say it. It's not, yes. I'm not being rude. That is how you say it. I haven't really got into Shit's Creek. <sighs> I know I should, and I know it should be really funny, but I just can't. I want it to find it funny, but it, it, yeah. Are you, have you watched Shit's Creek? I, I love Shit's Creek, um, pure and simply because of this lady right here, which is Moira Rose. I, I, the character Moira Rose, I love. I love, the, love that the wine thing that she did, the, the fruit what? wine. In the Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love that. I love that, that. But before before she before she was Moira Rose, she was mm-hmm. the mum in Home Alone. Now, every year, what they do is the um, director of Home Alone, who passed away, John Hughes, a couple of years mm-hmm. ago, who did lots and lots of films that, that like Home Alone, he did uh, Pretty in Pink, Uncle mm-hmm. Book, loads of films. They all get together and have like a virtual reunion online. Oh. And um, they talk about the films and their, their memories and their experiences. Um, and, and it's called Reunited Apart, pays tribute to John Hughes. So lots of the actors that are in lots of his different films um, mm. get together and they actually recreate scenes out of the films. So um, they've had um, Ferris Bueller, the actor that plays Ferris Bueller, he's re- recreated something. Um, mm-hmm. But my total favourite um, is... Um, Catherine O'Hara recreating the moment that she realises in Home Alone that they haven't brought Kevin um, on the flight. Mm -hmm. So she's literally kind of... So we've got a picture of her here, that that moment where she goes, Kevin! And falls backwards. But she recreated that on Mm -hmm. the actual thing. I think think we've got a clip of it. I'm not 100% sure. Shall we have a look? So, yeah. Oh, so she okay. actually falls Which, over as well. <laughs> she literally, this, yeah, side by side, she does it in the film, she does it in real life and goes 
goes back with some powers. Another Netflix series. Another Netflix series, Lee. Another one. You've been watching it's like Netflix. They know we're all stuck Come, inside. <laughs> I know. I've never watched so much telly. This one is quite quirky and a little bit unusual. It's called Bonding. And okay. it's about BDSM. Have I said that right? Producer, have I said those words right? Those letters together in the right order? What, what does it mean, Lee? Um, bondage, discipline. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't know what the rest of it stands for. <laughs> bondage. Go on, what, what does it stand for? Say, is it bondage, say, sadomasochism. There you go. That's the S&M. And is that it? Is that it? Okay. Yay. All right. Um, so it's it's a quirky it's a quirky comedy um, about um, two friends, um, and they were high school friends. Mm. And the, the 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 female character is a mistress in New York, so she has um, the role of playing this kind of um, quite domineering mistress for money. Okay. And one okay. of her friends, um, who is. Um, um, uh, uh, quite a, a, a dweeby nerdy guy um goes to live with her and she offers him the position of being her assistant um okay. <laughs> in in her thing now we've got a picture of them here um on the screen so she's got a lovely nice because it's pink she's got a nice mm. pink cell all her <laughs> all her accoutrements are on the walls um and he he's quite nervous at first as you would imagine mm. um so he's he he's gay in in the in the program um okay. she's straight but she can't it's it's very funny it doesn't sound like it would be funny it sounds like it could be a little bit hardcore you don't see mm-hmm. any booty doody things no. but she trains him how to do certain things and at one point he is dressed as um, um a penguin um they're in penguin okay. suits and they're rolling around on the floor um which is is something that you've never really seen on on television before. Well, well, um, well no, unless I you've watched think. our show. Because we, we've, had, we've had a furry on the show before. <laughs> well, yes, we have. But, you know, you know, it's sort of a mainstream comedy. Um, and, and it's really, uh, it's not a long series. It's about eight episodes. Um, they're about 20 minutes per episode. But I, I highly recommend it. Um, so you it, could bash through it in an afternoon then? <laughs> you could indeed. Um, and you could watch it as well. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I could see you in an outfit like that. I, I do own no. a harness. Do you? Is yes. it? Is it? Is, is we it, should move is on. It, I, um, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! We opened a door there. We didn't want to go through it. It was dark. It, that dark. It was a dark doorway. The next bit of showbiz news, again mm. on Netflix, is if you would think I would have a subscription to Netflix or anything, <laughs> is about the film that the about the Eurovision Song Contest. We talked about this quite a while ago yeah. last year, said that it was being made, and it's mm-hmm. called Eurovision Song Contest: The Story of Fire Saga. So it stars Will Ferrell mm-hmm. and Rachel McAdams. Um, there are like three actors that have done uh-huh. absolutely nothing to me, but I hate them. Um, so it's <laughs> it's Will Ferrell. He annoys yeah. me, and I don't know why. Jack Black really irritates mm-hmm. me, and I can't watch anything that he's in. And um, the guy from The Office, what's he called? Um, Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais, right. Yeah, I can't stand them. They've done nothing to me, and they've done nothing to upset me. I just can't stand them. So I haven't actually watched the film because right. he's in it. But I believe it's an absolutely brilliant film. So it basically tells a fictional story of um, a young man who was really, really a massive Eurovision fan and his so, so journey. It's not, so it's not based on a true story? Um, of all the, 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 all the stories of Eurovision and all of the history that's there? They, yeah, it, the, the, the actual real story. Yeah, it's based. It, the, the Eurovision con, song contest is obviously real. I don't think he's a real character from the past. Um, but yeah, it's it's amazing. Apparently, I've listened to the music, and the music sounds fantastic. It's really, really funny um, and really boppy. Um, but I can't bring myself to actually watch the film yet. But the brilliant thing was, last week on on social media, past mm-hmm. UK and European. Um, Eurovision entrants sat and watched the film together virtually from different oh, countries and commented like on party. it. I like a watch party. So we had, without a shadow of a doubt, the, the who you would assume to be there, Books Fizz. They they mm-hmm. were there watching yeah. it. Um, we had Scooch. 
who oh. represented England uh, with, the, with, with the, the flying with flag. And, yeah. They weren't dressed as hostesses and hosts from the airplanes. Um, there was Conchita Worst. She was there. Love Conchita. Um, and we also had Blue, um, who oh. represented us in, in Eurovision. Um, and some of the stories that came out perhaps shouldn't really have come out. So um, the, the Blue and... Mm-hmm. Um, um, came out with a so who, who is it? Who is the little blonde one from Blue that sings all the high notes? Lee, Lee. Um, Lee he, yes. he, he, he. Oh, coincidentally, we share the same name. He had um, no. He spells it L-E-E like everybody else. E- so. Elliot, yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> spoke of a story of an incident that he had on the way from their hotel to the Eurovision mm. studio to perform. He was so nervous <laughs> mm. that his internals turned to liquid <laughs> oh dear and he pooped himself in the um, limousine before they that's, got that's, <laughs> to the that's studio that's an alright story isn't it <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's, that, that's something that can come back to haunt you um, it is. Uh, so yeah <laughs> defecating it, um, the public who would do that it's weird who, who how, how, how outrageous so books fizz were watching it did they say what they thought of it um, I don't know. I think possibly they might be making their minds up. Ah, oh, very good. Graham Norton is in it, so he plays himself. Um, we've got um, Dan Stevens, so we've got a picture of him on screen. Hello, Dan Stevens, who people will probably mm. recognise from Downton Abbey. He plays um, yes. quite an egotistical, um, in love with himself, Eurovision um, uh, contestant. I'm Focusing on the gentleman in the gold pants behind. Um, Which one? All of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah now, me too. Um, <laughs> well, that, I, I recommend watching it, even though I haven't. Um, so that brings us <laughs> to the end of this week's Showbiz News. Thank you, Lee. So coming up, we've still got one of our groundbreaking lockdown lessons. And coming up next, we have the man who can down a banana in record times without it touching the sides of his mouth. It's Mike with the buzz. Make this show much better. Donate at thecud.tv slash support. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we join the man who's had so many builders in his back passage that it's collapsed on itself. It's Mike with the buzz. Which is scary because it's a communal back passage as well. Oh. Mm. Um, I've been looking around on the internet and I've managed to find some fun things. Now, the lockdown, it, it's a strain for a lot of people. Mm. I mean, I mean, you're, you're managing to cope, aren't you, Lee? Yeah, barely, but I am, yeah. Barely. Mm. Well, imagine if you had a small human running around. A small human? Let's look after that. Small human, like a child. Oh, a child. Um, yeah, small human. I, I fear it would not do well. <laughs> no. And according to Twitter, um, parents are struggling. We've got a, a couple of tweets here. One of them's from Mum on the Rocks. Thoughts and prayers for my son, who thought it would be funny to tell me, I'll get to it when I get to it, woman. <laughs> oh. That's, that's <laughs> asking, a brave child. That's asking for, uh, that is asking for the silence of, of, of recognition where the mother goes, did he just say what he said? And then the hand coming out of nowhere and clapping the back of your head. <laughs> <laughs> Broken puppet who said, My daughter just called a cemetery a person garden. I'm not even sure what she thinks is happening there. Oh, I, actually, <laughs> I quite like that. I think that's really sweet. The last thing you want is is bodies growing out of the ground. This oh, is cemetery. Lee. No, I like it. I like it. I like you could say, Oh, where, where's grandma going? Oh, we're just going to plant her in the person garden. Will she grow? No, don't be stupid. She's dead. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I, I was wondering whether she thought, you know, whether they had um, male gardens and lady gardens. Oh, yeah, it could do. Oh, that's yeah. a thought. Oh, that's, yeah, that's an image. Bind bleach. <laughs> 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 and then the one that just made me chuckle so much was from Henpecked Hal, which was things that made my toddler cry this week. One, only wants to go up on the seesaw, <laughs> not down. I wouldn't serve her hot ice cream. 
Her shadow is copying her. <laughs> doesn't want bones anymore. <laughs> I, I love, I love the little kids' rants and rages about stuff. It's amazing. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I just only want to go up on a seesaw. Don't we all? That's all we ask. <laughs> exactly. That's yes. All we ask for in life. <laughs> and, and I thought hot ice cream was akin to chocolate soup. It could well be, indeed. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I like a shadow is copying. I can imagine a small child having a rant at their own shadow, going, get away from me! Yeah, as often I have done. <laughs> but I, I, I don't get the not wanting to have bones. I quite like bones. I, I believe, yeah, you, you've had a decent amount of bone inside you, haven't you? Well, I've got a lot of bones inside me right now. <laughs> yes, you do. Mm -hmm. shall, shall we move on? <laughs> I think we should. <laughs> and then... I, I, Memes and little video clips and gifts always make me smile. And one person thought they'd try and explain gay sex to their straight friends oh. using some cars. Okay. Okay, and we've got a little video of that for you now. Two cars. Two. Ah, and, and that is... And it turned into a unicorn. Indeed, how things happen. Yeah. It is, yes. Yeah. So it's um, basically it's a, a, a knockoff of Transformers mm. where they try to create like little bits of Transformers and it creates a unicorn when you ram one car it into does, the other. Yeah. It's literally you're taken yeah. from behind and you're given the horn. Do you see what I did? Yes. <laughs> it's exactly how it works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I saw what you did. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and that's also how unicorns are made. It, it's it, not how you don't, you don't glue a cornet on the top of a horse. No, no. although I have seen that on the no. internet. <laughs> no, that was a donkey and something else. Yeah. And if you see anything on the internet that you think's funny and would like to share with us, do so. It's just The Cud TV on all of your social media platforms. Oh, we, we have pinged again. Oh, I don't like okay. it when we ping. It makes me nervous. <laughs> We've had an email. Um, this is from Belinda at NaughtyKnickers.com. Oh. Saying she needs urgent help. She's put, dear Chewing the Cud, loving the show, especially the funny presenter. Well, she's obviously referring to me. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. If that's what you want to believe, Lee. <laughs> okay. Um, and that brings us quickly to Story of the Week. Thanks, Belinda. <laughs> now, festivals up and down the country are being cancelled because of social distancing. Mm -hmm. okay? And it's having massive impacts on, on the... The, the community of the theatre and the arts. But an unexpected, but slightly expected um, impact was a sex festival won't go ahead because you can't social distance at orgies. A what festival? A sex festival. The, oh, OK. These exist, okay. do they? You know, it does, yes. Um, so this is the, the a, a yearly event for swingers that goes on. OK. So what happens is they they'll they'll... they'll pull up they get 48 hours notice of the venue and when they get there they they just have a good old time with lots of consensual fun and, and happenings oh no so so 48 hours before they don't know where it's going to be mm -hmm. is that i presume no to make sure that it's not it's not illegal to get the flaps and bits out on the the fields <laughs> <laughs> no it's 48 hours so that they don't get um inundated with people just turning up because oh. it's a ticketed event oh okay right so they just yeah. they just Pile on down in their, the in their mini metros and then... In their mini metros. <laughs> <laughs> so they're not going down in camper vans, they're going down in a mini metro. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. just, okay. Uh, right. Show your age. Yeah, so, so they... Okay, so it's not obviously not going ahead because you can't distance at an orgy. Social distance. Um, mm -hmm. I'm surprised they've not kind of... You know, th improvised with things that you could possibly like things on How? things on sticks and um, things on sticks and maybe litter pickers. Yeah, litter pickers and, and arm grabbers, litter things pickers. like that. Yeah, yes. There's a, where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> well, yeah, there is indeed. <laughs> um, but so, some of the quotes were, were things that people saying, you know, that they're really disappointed that it wasn't going to happen. Um, but people were asking more about how it was signposted. Mm -hmm. So you only get 40 hours notice and you get told to go to this field. Yes. Well, there's lots of fields. How would you find which one it is? How would you have signs up saying, orgy this way? Follow the naked butts. <laughs> <laughs> like a sort of sexy conda. Yes. 
Yeah. Follow the full moon. <laughs> Follow the full moon and the, the bobbing horizon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so have there been any festivals that you've been supposed to go to that have been cancelled Lee? I'm not a festival person to be fair. I I, I require um a certain standard of of environment. <laughs> um so no okay. so no naked people um in my face. Uh, um, um I like so yeah I'm not I, I'm not I would prefer to watch them on television. I don't do mud, I don't do camping, I don't do too hot, I don't do I just don't do <laughs> So no. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So you you don't even do glamping. No, but I do you in a hotel. Not see yourself in a yurt. <laughs> but <laughs> in a hotel. I call them hotels. You can go to festival. You can go to festivals with hotels near them. Yeah, I just don't like the idea. Uh, do, are you are you a festival uh, person? Would you go to? I, I do like festivals. What what one would? Be? I mean, recently I found out the one that I wanted to go to had been cancelled, and I'd only got forty hours notice. Oh no! But, uh, <laughs> I know it was such a shame. Oh, all that body moisturizer gone to waste. Yeah, so you'd want good weather for that, though, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would, and you'd also want you'd want you wouldn't want it too hot because there's bits that can be burned. Um, I, I think I'm sure I have read somewhere that <laughs> I've read somewhere um, that, uh, read experienced. That, yeah, um, a new, <laughs> one of the nudist beaches in England are going to be reopening, but they're insisting that everybody wears a face mask. So that's the only pe- <laughs> that's the only piece of of, of, of clothing. That that you're being asked to wear is a face mask to cover your face, but you can get your flaps out and everything else. Um, <laughs> is that just like a, a face mask or a full head? A gimp mask. No, I think it's like just a gimp mask. Yeah, <laughs> I just think it's just a, just the ordinary mask. Um, yeah, just no, normal mask. Ordinary mask. Um, yeah. yeah, perhaps a teeny tiny one for over the year, Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> so so that's from personal experience though right lee no um i unfortunately if i went onto an, an, a nudist beach greenpeace would come mm-hmm. in and try to drag me back out to sea um it would not oh. it would not be good <laughs> <laughs> and we know that i'm that pale that you just the light would bounce off me and people would not be able to see <laughs> oh dear it's funny because it's true it is. It's funny because it's true. Lost paint instead of factor fact of fifty. But that's all we've got time for in the buzz this week. Thank you very much for that, Mike. As always, enlightening. And don't forget that coming up, we have our exciting, unusual, sometimes completely pointless lockdown lesson. Pay our rent, boys. And girls, donate at thecud.tv slash support. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. I hope you've got your responsible adult on hand because it's time for a lockdown lesson. I always have a responsible adult on hand (laughs) at all times. Mm. (laughs) So our lockdown lesson today is a two for one. So we're going to we're going to do two things using the same um, ingredient, not ingredients, same equipment. I'm going to say equipment. So we need some equipment. equipment. Do we need some tin foil, regular old tin foil? Uh, Have you? Do you have that to hand, Mike? I have. A, I don't have tin foil. You don't have. I have baking foil. Is, that, is it? Is it me showing my age and calling it tin foil? Was it? Was it made out? Yeah, sure, was, it, sure was it made out of tin in my my childhood? Is that why I only ever grew to two foot three? No. 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 It's always always aluminium. It's just people called it tin foil. Okay. Okay. So, what I would like you to do first is. Um, Peel yourself off um, a fairly lengthy <laughs> piece of tin foil. <laughs> yeah, that's about enough. That's about enough. That? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's a lovely noise, isn't it? That. Is it? No. Okay. So now that now that now that we are having our um, sort of lockdown, re- sort of relaxed a little bit, you, you may have guests round to your house and you may you may provide them with some nourishment, some something to eat. 
um, a barbecue or whatever. There might be something left. As long as you lob it at them. Yeah, you, you, you. you're not allowed to pass it. No, don't pass it to them. But you, you might, they might want to take something home with them to, to, to sustain them at home. So I'm going to show you how to make a um, receptacle that they can take um, their food home with them. So we're going to make... Like Tupperware? No, no. We're going to... This is a little bit more glamorous than Tupperware. We're going oh, okay. to, we're, more glamorous than Tupperware. More glamorous than Tupperware. We're going to make a swan out of tin foil. You might have seen these in fancy restaurants in the 80s. <laughs> no, like, like, like I waste any food when I've paid for uh, it in public. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you, so get, a hold, get a hold of your... Um, now, I, I have to say, I haven't practised this at all, so it's going to go horribly, horribly wrong, and they're not going to resemble anything. Good. So, um, get your piece of um, tin foil, okay, mm-hmm. and roughly in the centre of it, make a fist... Um, in, like that, okay. And insert the fist into the centre of your tin foil, and wrap. Shiny side or, or matte side? Whatever, whatever tickles your fancy. If you want a shiny swan, go for a shiny swan. If you want a matte swan, go for a matte swan. Okay. Um, so yeah. So I, I need to. And then wrap the tin foil around your fist. Okay. So, so you should have like a. Like a like a ball of a ball. So remove it from your fist and turn it the other way around. Okay. So 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 you so you ha- you should have a little bowl. To, I, have, so I have fisted a bowl fisted into, a into my bowl tin into foil. your into your tin foil. So that would be to put your food in. Whatever your olivants, okay. your black forest gato, whatever you want. Um, so then what you so imagine the, the so imagine the nineteen seventies. Yeah, you know, all your, yeah. or your duck all orange made with uh, orange juice. Yeah. yeah, sausages and pineapples on sticks, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah. then what you're going to do is, the, the one bit is going to be the head of the chicken, uh, chicken, one bit is going to be the head of the swan, <laughs> <laughs> and the <laughs> the other bit is going to be the, the, the tail of the swan. So <clears throat> the okay. side that is longer... It's one of your sides uh-huh. longest. What I want you to do is to kind of just get hold of it and um, make a, a neck shape like that. Right. So I, I have I have given a, a, a pointy bit at the bottom of the thing I fisted. That's, that's yeah. fine. Um, so you so you have your your neck at the moment. It looks a bit like a turkey. So you, what you're going to do is you're going to try and fashion um, a swan head. Um, with so you know kind of you have a little ball and a beak which will be the head of, of your swan okay, okay. let's have a, oh yours is quiet oh yeah yours is quiet oh mine's what's going on with mine it's got a bit of droop let me, let me <laughs> got a bit of beak bit droop. Of droop. Um, okay so that's so then the other side is going to be its tail. So you want to kind of fashion um, feathers, feathery type, fan type thing. Okay. And you should, you should have um, a, a, be- a beautiful um, swan food receptacle, which any guest would be proud to take home and put straight into the recycling bin once they've eaten the volivants from the inside. Um, <laughs> so that's that's your swan. Um, that's your that's your swan. So mm-hmm. we'll 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 pop that to one side. Um, there are lots of uses for, for 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 baking foil, as you say, and then not mm-hmm. always to make beautiful receptacles for food. You can use them to improve mm-hmm. your looks. So the next. Okay. The next tip that we're going to do is, is, is so you need another piece of, of baking foil, roughly the size of your mm-hmm. head. Um, um, so, so which one? <laughs> the head on your shoulder. That's the one. Okay. So it needs to be the same size as my face or my whole head. Well, a little bit bigger than your face, because obviously there's going to be there's going to be room for um, moulding. <laughs> What, so what you would do before you actually do this is you would take your mm-hmm. tin foil, your baking foil, and put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. 
So just pop it in the freezer, let it freeze for 10 minutes, and then you would take it out. Okay. okay? And then what you do is, because what we're going to do is we're going to do a lovely, soothing face mask using the tin foil. I haven't made this up. I swear okay. that it is a genuine thing. Again, I haven't tried this out. It could end badly. So what you would do is you would take your frozen um, baking foil. Um, mm -hmm. You would have to remove your glasses, your spectacles, um, and pop okay. those down. Um, and then come remove the, remove the spectacles. Don't 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 be leaving me don't hanging. Don't be like looking of not doing it. And then I'm sorry. So I'm going to turn turn my head. But my hat back to me. What you're going to do is you're going to take your your um, foil. You're going to place it over your face. <laughs> And then you're gonna you're mm -hmm. gonna mold it to the to the contours of your features, okay? So okay. that's what we're gonna do next. I, I I have a slight concern about no air holes. We will we will make air holes. You're not gonna be in it for like twenty minutes. It's literally just you know just for the first so the first section is to just mold it to your features and then take it off. What do you right. think? Okay. Oh, okay. You have to. Take it off. Look, it's like Doctor Who. <laughs> okay, so so you've so you have so you've created that. Oh no, yeah, you can see. So what you what you're going to do is you're going to um, if you if you've got a pen got or you can use your fingers, just make a couple of air holes where your nostrils would be. Um, I'm going to use the end of a pen. Um, okay. Uh, have made a hole for my I'm nose. I'm going to make a little bit of a mouth hole. Um, and a mouth now, hole. when you're doing it yourself, you wouldn't do the, you wouldn't make eye holes because you want the coolness to, to do the skin on your eyes. But I'm going to make eye holes just so that um, you can see so, what I'm yeah, doing to make sure I'm yeah. doing it. Okay. So whilst it's still cold, you would then place it back on your face. Remold it to your features. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my glasses back on over the top. I can put my glasses yeah, back on. Yeah, put your glasses over the top. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. Good. And then you would just you you just oh. <laughs> you would lie back, relax, listen to something relaxing like Enya or Kenny G for five minutes. And then it would it okay. will it will reinvigorate your skin and give it give it a much needed boost of collagen. It will make all the collagen rush to the surface of your skin. Um, I, I'm not a fan. No, I think it's quite attractive. I am. It's not it's not the, the the most attractive of looks. And you can put your tongue through the hole. I potentially could. Ooh, that's attractive. That's sexy. Ooh. Anyway, mm. there you go. It's very neat. <laughs> <laughs> foil porn and there you go that is the lockdown lesson of the week and also if you do try it at home please send pictures or videos of yourself doing it because yeah. we need a laugh <laughs> okay so that that was that was different it was unusual that's unique thank you for that <laughs> kath and kim reference never wasted mm -hmm. mm. okay so so finally our picture of the week comes from Mrs. Trinity Snodgrill Lime from Clacton, who has sent us a picture of her Ooh. new Electrolux four ring oven. She writes, I have never had my ring glow so red so quickly, but do remember to let your ring cool before you wipe up dribbles. Oh, she's got, she has got a very lovely ring, hasn't she? She has. It's very, very yes. pert. We'd love to see a photo of your rings, whether they're dribbly or not, whether you're cooking on gas. Send all your photographs of your red hot rings um, to the contact details on the screen below. Thanks for that, Lee. That's all we've got time for this week. But don't forget, you can still find us on the internet while you wait for your ring to heat up. We will see you again next week. Bye! Bye.